Number 89. Using the periodic table, identify the lightest member of each of the following groups. And then I have A through D. All right, so I supplied a periodic table for you guys. And what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna put A through D over here. So we'll say A, B, C, and D. Now, two things that we need to know in order to answer this question. We need to know where these groups are on the periodic table, but we also need to know what the question's asking for. They wanna know what the lightest member of each of the following groups are. Lightest comes from a mass. So in this case, they basically want you to find out where the group is, and then they want you to find out which one has the lowest mass. That's it. So the lightest member would always have the lowest mass. All right, pretty simple enough. So for A, where are your noble gases? This is something that you have to memorize on the periodic table that they give you. There's never going to be any trends. There's never going to be any you know, classifications, you guys have to memorize all of those. So, noble gases are group 18. It's this group right here. And remember, groups go up and down. So this group over here are your, um, are your noble gases. So I'm just going to put that over here. Here are your noble gases. Now, I am not including OG, the, tr <laughs> the true OG, um, because this element has not been classified to its fullest extent. So as of right now, they're still, you know, testing this element out and they can't classify it as a noble gas yet, but that will probably change in the future. But for now, we can't classify this as a noble gas. So which one out of these, uh, these six, you know, noble gas elements is the lightest. Well, it's going to have the lowest mass. And the lowest mass, remember, is the higher number of the two. So for helium, between two and four, obviously the mass would be four, right? 4.003. But remember, as you go down a periodic table, the masses are going to get bigger, mainly because they have more protons, also because they're a larger atom, right? Remember, the radius expands. It gets larger as you go down a group. So... The, the lightest one would be helium. So for A, helium is your answer. So that gets rid of A already. B, your alkaline earth metals. Where are these? Alkaline earth metals are the second group. So it's group two. And all of them are classified as alkaline earth metals. All right. So I'm just going to put that over here. These are alkaline earth earth metals and which one is the lightest well it's probably going to be it's definitely going to be the one on the top so beryllium would be the lightest alkaline earth metal and radium if they ask for that that would be the heaviest so for b it would be be beryllium b-e-r-y-l-i-u-m yeah and i think there's two l's here but that's it c Alkali metals. Where are the alkali metals? Alkali metals are actually group one. However, there's a catch. It starts with lithium and goes all the way down. So these are your alkali metals. So from lithium all the way down, these are your alkali metals. The only reason why helium, uh, not helium, the only reason why hydrogen is not included is because, remember, hydrogen is a non-metal. It's the only exception to the rule of having your metals to the left of the staircase, which is here. Uh, hydrogen is a non-metal. It can't be part of the alkali metal group, right? So that's why. Now, out of these, which one would be the lightest? It's going to be lithium. This one was a trick. A lot of people would actually say hydrogen, but it's not. It's actually lithium because hydrogen is not part of the alkali metals because it's a nonmetal. So this one would be Li, lithium. And that's the end of that one. Last but not least, we got calcogens, right? This group, the calcogens. Where is that? Now, you can remember it as calcogen group or you could just remember it as the oxygen group. So calcogens are the group that starts with oxygen, which would be this group down here. 
So I'll just put that over here. This is your calcogen C. Calcogens. I just like to remember it as saying the oxygen group, but doesn't matter. Both correct. But which one would be the lightest? Well, it would be the first element of the group, which would be oxygen. So D would be oxygen. Oxygen. And that's it. That answers this question, right? Pretty easy enough. Just know your group names. That's all that this came down to it. All right. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. Um, please click the subscribe button. It helps out the channel to get the word out to, you know, everybody else who's using this OpenStax textbook. And it also gives you answers right into your feed so that it helps you with your test quizzes, homeworks, whatever you need help with. We will be there for you guys. All right. I'll see you guys on the next question. Have an awesome day.